In this video, we will show you all the ports on the Salga docking station and data recorder and their functionality. The docking station of Saga receives data from the data recorder and transfers it to the PC. It also functions as a charging station to recharge the batteries of the data recorder when it is docked and powered. On the docking station, you can find the status indicators of the device. If the power indicator is green, the docking station is powered on and ready. It is important to hear the click sound when inserting the power cable to ensure that it is connected properly. After plugging in the power cord, it can take up to 30 seconds before the LEDs turn green. The docking station features a fiber optics port and a trigger port. The fiber optics cable can be plugged in after opening the lid. Please note the orientation of the fiber connector. Do not force the fiber connector into the slot. The notch must be pointed downwards. The trigger interface allows to acquire up to 16 digital input signals on the trigger channel of Saga to mark specific events. With a trigger cable that can be purchased separately, it is possible to receive up to 8-bit triggers. The trigger cable features a Saga-specific connector on one side and a printer port connector on the other side. The data recorder has three buttons, the on-off button and the recording button marked with an SD card icon. The recording button can be used to start and stop an SD card recording. To power on the data recorder, the on-off button should be pressed for a half second. When the device is not acquiring data, the on-off button also powers down the data recorder. On top of the data recorder, you will find the status indicator window and the marker button. With the marker button, it is possible to send a 1-bit trigger to manually mark a specific event during a measurement. When the device is turned on, the signal mode LED will show solid green, indicating that the device is ready for measurements. This LED will start blinking green when there is an active data transmission. All LED status indicators are explained in Chapter 3.4 of the User Manual of Saga. Like in the docking station, you will also find the fiber optics ports on the data recorder to make a wired connection between the data recorder and the docking station. Next to the fiber optics port is a sync out port to send trigger pulses from Saga for synchronization purposes with an external device. Depending on your system, there are 32 or 64 unipolar channels to connect the LIMO connector to your EEG or HDEMG accessories. Please be careful when connecting the connector to ensure that the red dots align. Here you can see the patient ground connection. The patient ground electrode is necessary to keep the signals in range and can be connected to the skin via a wristband or snap-on electrode. For measurements performed in common reference mode, it is required to connect the reference electrode. Additional sensors can be connected to the auxiliary connectors here. The device supports nine auxiliary channels, which are divided over these three input connectors. The two bipolar input connectors can be used for measuring surface EMG, ECG, and EOG. Each bipolar input connector contains two bipolar channels, with one channel representing the difference of two electrodes. The digital input, or DIGI, is an input for connecting an event trigger cable or digital serial sensors, for example, a digital saturation sensor. For all of these connectors, it is important that the red dots on the cable and the docking station align. The data recorder contains two battery compartments. To exchange the batteries, press the orange release button to open the battery compartment. Then, pull the door open with your finger and change the battery. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or would like to know more about our products and accessories, visit our knowledge base here.